this lick is in the key of B minor and I'm going to use the third shape of B minor pentatonic scale but to be more specific I'm going to use the third shape of B minor blues scale okay so look um, this is how the third shape of of B minor pentatonic scale looks like um, okay something like this and the blues scale So I'm going basically think about this that way. If you take strings one and two from the first shape, you've got these notes. And if you add the note from the blue scale, you've got this passing note here. Okay, so look, the leak is pretty simple. Um, <laughs> as usual, because they are simple leaks, yeah? So what I do, I start from this note here on the 12th fret, second string. You can slide to this note if you prefer. And then... Then I'm going to the 14th fret on the first string, so look. This is what I have, yeah? The next note will be 13th fret and then 12th fret on the first string. So I got 14, 13, 12, look. So if I connect all these notes together, this is what I have. Or just without the slide. Or with the slide. So as you see, when you add the slide, you kind of um, achieve a different um, flavor. Okay, so this is what you call articulation, trying to get different kind of the um, of the flavors in your soloing. Okay, so um, this is what you have so far. Next note, the next note is the 15th fret on the second string. So I'm using my pinky here because look, I don't again jump with my fingers. Can you see? It's kind of um, each finger is assigned to one fret, and I stay with these fingers um, in these frets. I don't move my hand up and down. I try to really um, make this easier for myself. If I want, for instance, use this in a live situation, I'm trying to make this easier by sticking to fixed fingering in this case of course because many times you would play the leaks that are not possible to do like this but right now i'm trying to stick to the um fixed fingering so i can use this easily in a uh, jump situations and stuff like this okay so this is what you have so far oh, sorry and then i go back to the 12th fret on the second string so look so we kind of did the cell kind of um circle around this note here on the um on the 12th fret second string and by the way this is note b so in the key of b minor this is of course the root note so this is why it will sound good in this case with this backing track yeah so and you may add to this now 14th fret on the third string okay so look this is what you have And then I finish again on the note B, which is 12th fret on the um, second string. So this is what you have. All these notes. Which makes this quite interesting sounding run, yeah? Now look, how I pick this, I play down, 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 down. So down, 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 down. And from this moment, it's alternate picking. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. That way, it, it kind of makes this easy to play this quicker, yeah? So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So let me show you how it sounds um, with the backing track. So, as you see, the leak is quite versatile. You may slow down. Or play quicker. Without the slide now. So, 
can you hear how this note B really sits in this lick? Okay, so we kind of surround this note B with all these notes from the lick, yeah? And if you connect this with the previous lick we did for this backing track, which was this one. Yeah, so this is the lick. Or you can start from this one. Kind of fits together, okay? So you can connect all these leaks really together. And from the previous backing tracks. Does it make sense? So try to use all these um, leaks together and um, see how they sound basically, yeah? Mm -hmm. 